Covering Duval County and the controversy over a potential sale of JEA. The countywide utility has been taking bids to privatize and is now in a cone of silence while considering the offers. Tonight we've obtained some documents and a letter sent to all of Jacksonville City Council. The Jacksonville Civic Council wants changes in the process and challenges some of the utility's claims about its financial future. Tuesday, the Jacksonville Civic Council sent City Council this letter and documentation criticizing the process by JEA on investigating a sale. The letter says their opinion is based on doing lots of research. We have, Ken. We spent about 18 months on this so far. And I guess our basic conclusion is JEA is not in the death spiral. It's a healthy utility that does have some challenges, but innovative solutions can solve those problems in our belief. And because of that, this rush to sell JA through this INT process, which completely lacks transparency, is unwarranted. Former CSX Chief Executive Michael Ward is the co-chair of the Civic Council's JEA subcommittee. Ward says the Civic Council isn't taking a position on whether to sell JEA, merely calling for a better process, which should be driven by the City Council, not the utility itself. We actually say in our letter we're not for or against the sale of JEA. There's not an inform enough information yet to make a good judgment on that. But what we do know is there's not a thorough, transparent process, and that's what we're calling for. Throughout the summer, JEA argued that being a municipal utility constrains solutions to declining usage and revenue. Ward says the Civic Council's research does not support that, that other municipal utilities face the same challenges. None of the other ones, though, are saying they need to sell themselves to meet those needs. They think there are other solutions that can meet the needs of the citizenry, and uh, we think that there should be a thorough examination of all the options rather than this headlong rush into a sale process. So I reached out tonight to JEA and to City Council President Scott Wilson tonight. Mr. Wilson says that he'll speak about it tomorrow. JEA's spokeswoman sent us this statement this evening. JEA's board of directors is set out on a public path that is built on a scenario-based strategic planning process. We welcome and appreciate thoughts, ideas, and recommendations as we continue to review and analyze the situation. JEA faces now and in the future. Well, this journey still has many roads to travel, including further review by JEA's board, the Jacksonville City Council, and Duval County voters.